Welcome to Board Games with Niramas. Tonight we're going to play some Imhotep, Builder of Egypt. This game is designed by Phil Walker Harding and it's published by Cosmos. It's a game about building pyramids and buildings and such in ancient Egypt. Uh, it's a very simple game, but it has some really, uh, <laughs> some, you know, I have to sort of consider a lot of tactical choices as well. And so we're going to play two players, so it's me versus Draco as usual. And Draco will be the uh, white player with his white stones over there. I will have my red brownish stones here. Since I'm the first player, I will start with two, and Draco starts with three stones in his little sled. This is how he transports the stones from the quarry and into building stuff. But to get here, we have to send the stones on ships down the Nile, I guess. So we have a bunch of different ships here. They are different every round. So we have cards deciding which type of ships come out. Uh, we have some uh, scoring track over here, and we have some cards, some market cards that we can grab as well, and they have special effects of different kinds. But that's about it. Uh, so uh, we'll, I guess we'll just start playing, and yeah, we have five different places we can sail these ships with the stones to, and they will do different things. We will score points in different ways, but we'll just get to them as we go. So I'm the first player, and let's just start playing. So uh, what well, my options here are on my turn, I could either uh, take three stones from the quarry and load them into my sled because I need to have them here to do my the other option I have the action of taking a stone from here and load it on one to the one of the ships here uh, The third action I could do is to send one of the ships to any of the uh, uh, ports here But to do that every ship has requirements So like let's say this uh, one has three slots for stones, but it takes two stones loaded before it can sail so I sort of have to load a ship and then Draco might sail my ship somewhere where he sort of thinks that I don't want to go. Which is all the whole uh, fun thing of this game is the whole sort of should, do you want to go for your own stuff or do you want to do sabotage for the other players and so on. And then the fourth thing I could do on my turn is to play a blue card if I have picked up a blue card earlier from the market. Then I could play, play one and they do basically two things at the same time like this one here is uh, place one stone on a ship and sail the ship. So um, it's sort of a two double action I can get there. So let's see, what should I start with? I think the first thing I will do is grab this little one slot ship here because then I'm I'm sure that this is my ship, no one else can get on it. If I go on this one, I can decide if I want to go here or here or here. Uh, going in front means that I will be the first one to unload. In some cases that's good, but in some cases I want to be for, further back. So yeah, you'll see that as we keep playing. But I'll go over there, and so it's Draco's turn. Now Draco, he could send the ship away on his turn as his action. Uh, maybe he figures that, um, let's say he wants to focus perhaps on the burial chamber, then he could send me to the obelisks and let me have it, sort of. But uh, I think Draco, uh, to start off, I think he will load the ship as well. Uh, because it's so early in the game, it's hard to know what people are going for. He's going for the big one here, so I'll put one cube there. And now I'll sail my ship, my little one here, over to the market. Which means I'm the only one that will get a market card this round. So I'll just remove this one back to the quarry here. And I get to pick any of these. The red ones, uh, things that happen instantly, this one is place one stone from the quarry, from my quarry, into the pyramids here. Uh, the other one is place one stone from my quarry into the burial chamber down here. They have different effects, of course. Um, then I have a statue I could grab that's just set collection. At the end of the game, uh, depending on how many statues I have, I get points. Increasingly, of course, the more cards, the more purple cards I have. And then we have the, the blue there, the sail. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Um, I want to take the statue and see if I can try to collect these over the course of the game. And that will give me a bunch of points. So that was my action and now it's Draco again. I think he'll just keep... He'll put another stone here. And let's see, do I want to get in on his ship or do I want to start my own or do I want to... I could also go for, I can't sail his ship because that one takes three in order to sail. I could take three stones here so I'm more prepared. I think I'll start one of my own here. And then it's Draco's turn and he'll put his third uh, 
That's kind of scary for him. If he does that, then I could sail it somewhere and he doesn't get to choose where it goes. Hmm. Then again, right now, all the places are pretty much good to go to, so he'll do that. And now I, I don't have any stones here, so I can't loan anything. I can't ship this one uh, because it only has one stone, it needs two. So the only thing I can do now is to ship Draco's ship or take, grab three from the quarry. Now if I ship him away, if I send him to the pyramids, he will get points instantly and then you will build the pyramid in a certain way. So he will get two plus one plus three points, that's pretty good. Uh, if I send him to the temple, then he we will just put his stones in a row here. At the end of every round, each stone that you can see from above, it give you, gives you one point. So he will get three points from this. It will six points up here. Uh, in the burial chamber, that's for the end game. You want to have stones. He will go one, two, three. You want to have stones connected as far as you can. You get points. Well, the more you have, the more points you get. And the obelisks, there you want to build as high as possible, so he would build a tower three spaces high here. In the end, game, end of the game, we will see who has the largest tower, the highest tower. We'll get 10 points, the second one will get 1 point, that's a lot of points as well. I think what Draco wants to do is send it to the pyramids, really. So maybe I should send him to the temple. I think I will do that, actually, because that would just give him 3 points, that's not too bad. So I'll send him over here, and you know Draco is like, no, he wanted to send that ship over. But I got there first, so here we go to the temple, and they will all unload. They will go like this, one, two, three, now they're all Dracos, but if, yeah. And the, the thing here is, there's only one slot left here in a two-player game, and then we start building on top of these, and then if I can get my stones up here, then Dracos won't be visible anymore from the top, and then he won't get points later on. So that was my action, and now it's Draco's turn. He doesn't have any stones left here. He's going to take three from the quarry. Like that. And it's my turn. I have to take three from the quarry. I don't have much options here. And uh, now Draco will send one stone in here, grab a ship of its own. I will load up my ship a bit more. But now Draco could sail it away somewhere. Um, I don't think he will do that. He will just keep loading his ship here. So now I could send this one away, but then it only has two stones. I could load it with one more. I think I'll do that. I'll go like that. And I think we'll just play friendly now. Draco will fill up his ship. And now I could send either of these, so I could mess up Draco once again. Uh, but then of course he would do it back to me, so I'll just send my ships, I'm, I'm first, I'll, I'll go through the pyramids, start building on the pyramids. And so what happens is the first stone goes here, I'll get two points right away, and then I'll get one point, and then I'll get three, so that's a total of six. So that's quite good. Like that, up there on the point tracks. And now Drac will sail his ship, and he's a bit sad because he wanted the pyramids, of course, but his choices are either the burial chamber or the obelisk. And the thing is, since he's, the, uh, he's sending away the last ship, that means that I will be the first player in the next round as well. So where does he want to go? Uh, this would be six points guaranteed for him, and it could be more later on. This could be 10 at the end of the game. I think it will go to the burial chamber. And we will place them like this. And now I want to get in on this and just sort of cut them off because it's uh, they have to be connected. So if I can sort of mess it up here for him, then he won't get more than three connected. So I'll try to do that in the next round. So that was the total uh, first round. And now we will uh, put these ships away. And we will take a look at the next uh, round card, see where that is, and that is, uh, this is the timer of the game, we played six rounds and that's the timer for the game end. Okay, so this one has just, this is a bit smaller, so we have a three uh, and two twos uh, and one, one one, two twos, one one, okay, and then we will also, uh, the card from the market will get discarded and we'll place out four new ones. 
So we have another one, one other statue. I want to get that one for sure. Uh, we have a green card, which is something that sort of gives you an end game scoring. So this is at the end of the game, earn one point per three stones in the pyramid, your own or others. So if, if uh, Draco picks this up, that's one point for him right there in the pyramids right now, even though it's my stone. So that could be something to get. And we have a blue one. Uh, it's one action to place two stones on one ship or place one stone on each of two ships. That's kind of nice. Uh, that's a good way to get the ships loaded and here's immediately place one stone from the quarry on your obelisk So it's down here on the tower that we're building Okay, so we are ready for the second round And since Draco sailed the last uh, the fourth ship uh, That means I will be the first player, but let's do one more thing the temple. We will score the temple And we will we can see three stones for Draco. So that means he'll get three points. So that's it for, um, yeah, let's go into the second round. I'm the first to act. I only have one stone here, though. Um, but I would like to go to the market, get another statue. I mean, one statue is three, uh, one point, two statues is three points, and so on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for, for this one. Uh, Draco doesn't have any stones, so he has to load up if he wants to do that. But I think he will, he, he's not going to let me send this one to the market. Uh, he can see it coming, sort of. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to send me down to the obelisks like that, and I will start building on my obelisk, my tower here, and that will score me in, if for the end game. If I if I have the highest tower, I will, I get ten points. So, okay, so that was Draco. Now it's my turn. I have to take three here. I can't do anything else. Drag also, he's doing the same thing over here off camera, he's just taking three stones into his little sled. Then it's my turn, I'll put one here. And I think Draco will start loading up Big Boat. And now it's my turn, and now I can sell it, sail this one. So I'll sail it over to the market, so I got there anyway. And so I will take another statue. And keep building on my statues here to get points for the end game. This one goes away of course. And so it's Draco's turn, and I think he will go for, he will put another here. Um, yeah. And now the question is, do I want to sail away his ship somewhere where he doesn't want to go? Or do I want to go focus on my own stuff? I think I'll just tag along. I'll just put one here and just tag along on his ship. So I'm in on the action there. And so it's Draco's turn, and... Hmm, yeah, he's okay with this. He doesn't mind this. He's going to sail this one All the way down to the burial chambers. So the first one comes off like this Second one and then I'll I'll be here and now Draco has five stones in connection here He will score 15 points at the end of the game. So he's happy with that. That's a really good one Okay, and so it's my turn um, Hmm I could load up here, but the problem is if I do, Draco will probably ship it somewhere where I don't get that much from it. I think I'll, I'll, I'm just going to take three stones. It's good to have some stones for the third round as well here. So I'll take stones, and Draco will load up here. And now, should I send him away, or... Uh... No, 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 I'm going to load up this one here as well. And it's Draco's turn, and I think he will take, he's just going to grab three stones. He doesn't want to sail the last ship, he wants me to do it, so he can be the first player in the third round. And so it's back to my turn. I could load up here, but I would, I would only get two stones, because I only have two, uh, plays for two there. Um, hmm. But you know what, I'm going to sail it over to the pyramids. Because at the pyramids, we're going to unload Draco first, and he gets two points up here on the points track. And then we unload my stone, and that's four points. So I got the better out of that one. One, two, three, four. And uh, the, at that end of the round, Draco will be the first player for the next one. We'll score the temple where we can see three stones for Draco still. So he'll get three points. That's nice. I mean, it just keeps ticking away like that. In a, in a four-player game, a three-player game, of course, it's going to be more competition over here, so it's going to be harder to have your stones uh, like this. And then we will uh, collect all the ships. 
We get a new setup for the ships and it's going to be two threes and two twos, okay? Like that. And we'll also remove the market cards. So as you can see this game is really easy to get into and learn how to play. But then, then at the same time to win at it, it's not that easy. You have to really uh, do the right thing at the right time. Okay, so uh, yeah, there we got some action. Place one stone on one ship and sail the ship. And we got this. Uh, this one is place two. Yeah, it's the same that we had earlier. Two stones on one ship or one stone on two ships. And that's immediately place one stone into the pyramid. That could be really good if you have a high scoring here. And the nice thing with the pyramids is also once we fill these nine spaces, then we will start building the second level uh, that gives points. And the the, la the third level will just be one stone, and that's four points, so that's really good. Okay, so uh, Draco is the first player. He has a bunch of stones ready. I think he will start loading up here. And so he'll send one over here. And I think I will send one behind him, like that. And then I think Draco is going for... Yeah, he'll go over to the... Um... Oh, yeah, 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 he could do that. Yeah, he'll go over to the market, okay. So now he'll get the first pick on card share, and he'll take the... He'll take the red card here, which lets him immediately place one stone from the quarry on the pyramid. And because he sees here, that's three points right there. One, two, three. So he's ahead of me on the score track. Now I get to pick one. Uh, I think I'll take this one where I can load two stones on one ship or one stone on two ships. And that's an action I can use later on. So that was it for, the, for Draco. He sailed over there. And now it's my turn. And I think I will... Oh yeah, I will use it right away. Why not? So I'll use the blue card, which means I can load two stones onto one ship. So I immediately filled one ship there. And so it's Draco's turn. I think he will send this somewhere. Try to mess it up a bit for me. Um, but where? Yeah, he'll send it. Yeah, he'll send it to the pyramids. This is a good one for him, because uh, this is a really low scoring for me. I'll get two plus one, so I'll only get three points for two stones. That's pretty bad. <laughs> so. That's one, two, three. Okay, and so it's my turn again. I don't have anything here, so I'll, I'll just have to load up here. So I pretty much, in a, in a way, I wasted my, my blue card there because of Draco. And I think he will, uh, he will start loading here. I'll do my own as well. Mm -hmm. And he's going to get in on mine here, my ship here. So, And I'm like, yeah, okay, if you're going to do that, then I'll go go on your ship and then he will get in here as well and let's see I think um, yeah then I'll send it down here to the temple because this is not really gonna give Draco much at all he's going to go over there I'll go there and Draco goes there and so as you, if you look at this from to the top Draco still gets three points and I'll get one so he didn't get any points out of that move. So that's kind of good for me, and he's not happy about that, of course, as you can see. And then it's his turn, and he will... Hmm. Oh, he doesn't have any good options now. I think he'll just sail this one down here to the obelisks, where he will build on mine, but he will start building on his as well. So he'll try to surpass me there later on. And that was the end of the third round. I will do this six rounds. It's a really quick and fun game. And I really like it, especially with uh, the higher player count. So that was Imhotep. And uh, I think you got an idea of how the game works. And you can figure out if it might be a game for you and your gaming group or your partner and so on. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, run through. And also, I would like to mention that I have my Patreon going my Patreon account where I try to gather some funds to get better camera, better uh, microphone and so on. If you can support me in any way, just every dollar counts. I'm so thankful for everything you guys can support me with. Uh, so please check out my Patreon account. You can just click the link up there and just uh, support me in any way you can. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye. 
Do you want to keep this little dragon this happy all day long? Then like the video! Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.